Yo, what is good? My anime people, what is good? Yo, <laughs> guys, we have ourselves some magicians. <laughs> um, I don't. I don't know if I'll be keeping up with this show. I really did think it had um, an interesting charm to it, some comedy to it. So I think because of the comedy and because of the way the characters were interacting with each other throughout the week's episode or this week's episode, um, that's the only reason why it's a real reason why I'm it's a real reason why I'm actually making this video. Simply because like I like what the characters were saying and doing and then at the same time there's a weird mystery about the show when it comes down to who is the mother who is the father and why in the beginning of the show was the mother leaving her daughter in the case of like hey i'm gonna go do something that i don't want you to be following me or doing because I'm doing it, right? Like, she even called herself one of the great thieves and stuff like that. So, there's this very smart intro of the show where you're kind of given a little bit of a glimpse of what's going on with the character as the woman. Like, as the girl's life, the main girl. But then, um, with the introduction... Introduction? With the introduction of our main guy... We really only learn so much more about the father because of him showing up and how amazing the father supposedly is at, you know, his job that he has this kid wanting to, you know, follow him up and be called master by him. So he's a really good magician as a whole, but at the same time, I think we're only getting a glimpse of their lifestyle if... They do love magic, but for some reason the mom is the best thief out there. Clearly the magic might, or the magic seed, <coughs> might just be a, a facade. Like, oh, we are magicians, and we are here to entertain you, but at the same time, every time they entertain you, they're maybe stealing from the rich and giving to the poor. I don't know. I feel that's, that's just what it felt like was something in the background going on uh, throughout this whole entire show of a guy showing up who was thought to be a girl by the main girl and once she finds out he's a guy she absolutely like despises him um, instead of treating this person who she thought was a girl like a boy and just having the same memories she couldn't get past the fact that it was a guy and because it's a guy and she called him Prince and all this different stuff. It was clear, you know, that she had been talking and hanging out with a boy when usually girls don't even do that at their age. So it's it's one of those things where it's just like clearly she's just embarrassed that it was a boy and she had no clue and even treated her like a girl, which we don't know how far their friendship really went, if they were taking baths and stuff with each other or something, um, you know, it's like, it's one of those things where as soon as they start elaborating more on how close they were or how long they'd known each other, because at this point it only feels like they'd known each other for that one moment of a stray dog attacking and he stood in front of her, like it doesn't, they don't really specify if there's other times that they were hanging out or that they knew each other much better um all we really knew is that he has came here to be the apprentice of her father and because of this uh she the main girl thought she was going to be seeing her friend that was a girl and at the same time spending you know just time while she was there uh getting together whatever the heck was going on but to come to find out it's this dude that you never knew it was a dude, and seemingly, mostly everybody around you knows it's a dude, and you're the last one to kind of figure out that, right? Like, you go from thinking you have a best friend that's a girl to everybody around you knowing that that's a guy, and that's your best friend, that you will, that's the prince that you called, and, you know, that came to your rescue and all that stuff, which I think is another thing kind of getting to her, um, but overall the show really starts uh, 
taking a turn more towards the end so to get to the middle our guy wanting to be a magician to be you know as good as her father he is in a position now where he is learning all of butler stuff because he broke something um which was clearly on purpose which clearly was something not expensive out of everything that was probably in there like all those artifacts that were on the shelves that he sorted and the one thing that fell off was something at the top top that wasn't in the shelves <laughs> so these little th things of attention to their details is pretty fun to watch for me uh, just noticing the tiny things to kind of get an understanding of why things are popping off the way they are to lead to what situation um but yeah so far the maids and the maid the maid and the butler are pretty much doing whatever they can uh, at this point to seemingly have fun right like well the girl is anyway she's like i'm gonna get them together and she called him prince and if that's the case she really likes him blah 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 you know it sounds like she's doing things that she has no business being doing as a maid anyway um so that's kind of another thing of this story is the maid having her own envisioned lifestyle for this girl in the love sense and it's all about actually having that come together now right like actually having that all follow through and because of it i was absolutely dying um, i do look forward to seeing what people are saying about this show because at the same time there's comedy there's a interesting like story going on in the background and the main thing that kept me entertained was the fact that this kid was so good with this magic wand that he also had it broken once he was protecting the girl from the stray dog but the magic wand is fixed he's using it you know like it's not like nothing's ever happened to it and for some reason the youngest daughter the girl's sister could smell the pen or I don't know why she said it smells like mama when she clearly states that there's a symbol on it, you know. Um, so I guess it smells and she can just look at the symbol instead of smelling it to know it was for sure her mom's, you know. Unless the symbol is used just by magicians as a whole or something and the only reason why she knew it was her mom's symbol is because it smelled like her as well as looked as the symbol she uses. I don't know. I don't think it really matters as long as we know that for some reason the mom has gave him an artifact that for the reason why it's so good at working with magic or doing the tricks that it does is because it is one of her artifacts and as of now uh, our main girl actually thinks she needs to like take it away from him get this artifact back in the possession of them and their family so I honestly don't think she understands what she's saying or what she's trying to do Seeing how the little sister said, if he has the artifact, that means this is someone that mom clearly trusts. And if that's the case, then she shouldn't be uh, pushing this narrative as far as she is in the case of wanting to steal it back or um, actually wanting to uh, take something from someone who was gifted this uh, wand, maybe. I don't, and we don't even know if he was gifted. We just know it was broken. And if she was the one to prepare it, then she put, she made it an artifact when she did repair it. So we'll see how this all turns out. Let me know how you guys are feeling about it. And I will definitely talk to you as soon as possible. So with all that being said, have an amazing day, night, evening, whatever the case may be. I am your boy, the Anime G, and I will definitely be looking forward to talking to you in the next videos. So with that being said, peace.